Okay, so there's been some good questions about this last video that I shot about setting a background video for your web page. And uh, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's going to give you the basics of how to set up a looping video or just a background video behind your web page that you can then put stuff on top of. Now, what I did not explain in it was how to set text and buttons and graphics and other things on top of that video. And it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to walk through it now and show you the basics of how this works. All right, so I haven't checked it out. Uh, set background video using HTML5 is the page here if you want to get more information on that. Uh, again, but if you want to see how I did where I actually layer stuff on top of it, that's what I'm going to explain here. Basically what I have here is the same page that was used in the last example. I just want to expand on it using this. So let's go ahead and take a look at where it's at right now. I'm going to just preview it in Safari here. And you can see I've got a looping background video here. It's stretching out the full width of my browser. As I scale it, you'll see that it fits all within there. And the video continues looping. And actually, I've got a background graphic in there, too, just in case uh, the video doesn't come up for whatever reason. Maybe the browser doesn't have uh, the code wasn't written for this browser. Uh, you can see right now I've just got this set up as an MP4. Again, refer to the last video if you want to see the other two options that I recommend, which is the WebM and the OGV uh, option. So anyway, so we've got this graphic in here, the background video, the background graphic in here right now. And what I want to do is I want to layer text and let's go ahead and layer a graphic on top of it as well. So if I've got within the body of my code here, I've got the video sitting on top of it here, again, telling it to autoplay, to loop, and to set this background graphic uh, if it's not going to show it. Uh, on top of that, I should be able to type in some text here, like click here to enter. And I'll just save that and preview it in Safari. And for a quick second, you saw that little text going up there, but it's actually going behind the video right now. It doesn't know what's the most important thing. It doesn't know what to put on what layer, basically. You have to think about all these things in your code as being layers. If I actually look back down here, I can see that the code, or excuse me, the text is in the, the actual page itself. So it's actually there, but again, the video is taking precedence and laying on top of it. Uh, what I did too is I also set up just a button here just to show how that you can do the same thing with a graphic and I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and put that in my code right now. I'm going to say div class and maybe that's going to be a button that I want to use to be, let people enter the website and uh, whatever I have going on here. So this is just kind of a dummy mock-up so bear with me on this. So if I go back to again my design view I'm just using Dreamweaver. If I look at my design view, I can see that it's actually, close it out, see that it's actually in my document here. But again, if I were to test it out, you saw for a quick second the graphic was in there, the text was in there, all kind of back there. But you see the video is again taking precedence and laying on top of it. I'm going to close this out. All right. So with everything set up here, you can very easily say, I want that video to be a background graphic and let everything else sit on top of it. So I'm going to go into my style sheet for the video, the background video. Again, it's down here, ID background video, it's the video tag. And all I need to use is a uh, CSS class called Z index. So say Z index. And what I need to do is say what layer that it is. And to really do this, quickly and easily, I can just set this to be negative one. Okay, that's going to tell this video to be the bottom layer. This could also be negative 100, 1000, it doesn't matter, just negative whatever number. All right, so now if I save this and I preview it in a browser, this should show up and actually work correctly. All right, good. So we've got our text, we've got our graphic button up here, and the video is still playing behind all of that. And it works with the same other properties where it scales. Alright, so I'm going to close that out. Now the one other key thing that you want to take a look at, make sure that you have in your code when you're doing this, is the actual position. And this is something that kind of screwed me up when I was first starting out learning how to use Z-Index properly, was that you have to set a position for your uh, graphic or video or whatever it is to let it know to layer. Without this position in here, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out real quick and I'm going to save it and I'll preview it. It doesn't really know 
what to do. It doesn't really comprehend the Z index property down here. Now it could be any, almost any type of position here. You've got a couple different options. Some will work, some won't. Position fixed is what I've been using here. That'll work. I could also say position absolute. And you'll see I got my video still playing back here. I've got my graphic, I have my text. So that's still working. But if I were to say position relative, which a lot of people use, you see that it does not work. The video still plays, everything still works correctly, but I'm not getting the graphic and text on top of there. And again, if I were to just take that out altogether, I'm not getting any text or graphic at all. So again, if I want to use the Z index property for this graph or for this video and have graphics on top of it, I need to be using something like fixed or absolute. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post below and I'll definitely get back to you as quickly as I can. Hope you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm.